Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of April the 18th to the 25th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting readings with me to my circle and blessings to all my repeat clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. Should you desire answers to your questions, clarity, and accuracy, I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatarot.info. See you soon, Scorpio. We start our week, Scorpio, on Monday with the Ace of Air. Air cards have to do with the injustice and dealing with making uh, decisions and choices, uh, you know, fairly and uh, and justly. Also, it has to do with perhaps some legal issues if some of you are dealing with lawyers right now. But basically, it has to do with dealing with those sort of uh, drama parts of things in our life we don't like. This is telling me, though, this particular one, you've been dealing with these things, but now there's a new idea coming in, and, and it's better. It's the beginning of a brilliant new idea and inspiration coming to you. And you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation that has been around you now for a while. It may be a little bit challenging in the beginning. Aces have to do with the beginnings of things, my friend. You have a major card, Justice. There you go. So, there is Tuesday, my friend, okay? Courage to uh, make your dreams come true and to change things in your life and make fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right for you and stand up for your own beliefs, my friend. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you have an Earth card. Nine of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, but they also can have to do, and often our jobs, and how we bring that currency in, but often they have to do with Mother Earth and our immediate family circle known as family. This is telling me that some of you now have been working very hard and you can enjoy the little luxuries in life. And uh, it shows me that you're going to be spending time alone, thinking about that, counting your blessings for what you've achieved and you've worked hard for. This is also the success of anyone who's self-employed. It's a good time right now for your business. On Thursday, another Earth card again, King of Earth. Great card again. It's a successful time for some of you financially. And you need to confidently accept any new opportunities that are being offered to you because this is that Midas touch card. Landing on your feet, coming up smelling like roses. You can't make a, bet, a big mistake. This is a good time for change, a good time to accept anything new coming in. The Chariot for Friday. Ah, oh, again, you've got such a great card, my friend. This is all about uh, a big congratulation. It's an important achievement that you've, you've done, you've been working hard for. Um, it's all about your own self-discipline and willpower that's made all this good come into you at this point in time. It's almost like some of you are going to get uh, a promotion or an award uh, for something that you've been doing. And uh, it was a great leap forward for you to do. But again, it was only because of your own willpower and your own self-discipline that this came to fruition. Card also signifies a trip. Some of you are going to go on a trip and uh, you will be on many different kinds of uh, vehicles and but I do see it going over a large body of water the dreamer for Saturday another major card this is about uh, you know new journey and exploration and being a free spirit and trusting the universe um, this is all about a leap of faith and creative solutions that are coming into you now know that there will be some unexpected opportunities uh, that will come your way that will allow you to, to assert your own independence there is a need right now that you need to do, and that is to be optimistic to any um, a, a, anything that's coming into you. So you need to take optimistic approaches to any challenges even that are coming into you at, now, at this time. And most of all, follow your dreams, my friend. On Sunday, the end of the week, you've been given a fire card, and you have been given the seven of fire. Fire cards have to do with self-development, sometimes adventure, risk-taking, putting your dreams and thought patterns and passions into motion. This is telling me that you're coming into a situation where you're going to have to defend yourself and defend your own beliefs and decisions, but you need to stand your ground uh, when you do this and uh, pick your battles wisely. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card 
and I chose the Ascended Masters deck, and they gave you this. See the other person's point of view. So pretty much this tells me that some of you are in a little bit of a conflict, or you're communicating with individuals that um, you've kind of locked horns with, but that you need to take a step back and a deep breath and see the other person's point of view. There's two sides to a coin, my friend, as you know. So please know that uh, it's up to you to step back and listen and, and, and think about what's been going on around your life in uh, maybe communicating with an individual or individuals that have kind of locked horns at this point in time. So step back and know that there's two sides to a coin, my friend. You have to weigh the options. Is it worth it or not? Again, I leave you with another quote today. And the quote I chose today for you is, Be happy, not because everything in your life is good, but because you can see the good in everything around you. I wish you a great remainder to today, Scorpio, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I will always continue to stand in the circle of light for you.